everyone. So, you may have noticed that I haven't uploaded any videos in almost a year, and even before that, I wasn't exactly uploading on a regular schedule. Once upon a time, I had a goal of uploading two videos a day, then for a while, it was closer to two videos a month, and then was nothing at all. So what happened? I'll get into why this channel failed in a little bit, but before that, I have two big announcements. The first is that very soon I will be archiving this channel. I won't be deleting anything, all my old videos will still be up, but I won't be uploading anything new. The exceptions are The Walking Dead Michonne and Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Case 3-2, which are both already pre-recorded in their entirety and have been for a while. I'll be uploading the remaining videos of those games to this channel, just for the sake of completeness. The last video of The Walking Dead will be episode 13, and the last video of Ace Attorney will be episode 21. Those will be the last videos that I will ever upload to this channel. However, I won't be leaving the internet forever, because the second announcement that I want to make is that I will be starting a Twitch channel. But it won't be called AK Dash, it will instead be called Patient Allison. The link will be in the description. This name has two parts. The Patient part is a reference to a subreddit called Patient Gamers, where people go to play games that are anywhere from a few months old to decades old, and in my case, many of which I've never played before. This doesn't mean I'll never play a newer title, but it won't be the primary focus. More on how this will work in a little bit. The second part is simply my name. For those of you who don't know, I am a transgender woman, and my name is Allison. I'm not on hormones yet, but I hope to start relatively soon. So why did this channel fail? Why am I starting a Twitch channel? Why am I changing the name? Why am I playing all these old games instead of just playing Fortnite like everyone else is these days? What will my streaming schedule be like? All good questions. If you only care about one of them, there will be timestamps to each one in the description. Let's start with why this channel failed. I started this channel in summer of 2012 when all I had to play and record on was a laptop with a GT630M. I actually still have this laptop, though I only use it nowadays when traveling. No, I can't remove these stickers. Yes, I've tried. Fall of 2012 also happened to be when I started going to college. My freshman year wasn't that bad. Most of my classes either had no homework or very little homework, so basically all I had to do was attend classes and study for exams. I also didn't have a job, so I had a lot of free time. But in 2013, I got a part-time job at one of the on-campus cafeterias, which I stayed at until I graduated. Classes also got more involved as time went on, so I started to have to make choices between keeping to a video schedule or doing well in school. Eventually, my schedule was unofficially whenever I got around to uploading, but that was still usually at least once a week. Fast forward to May of 2016, when a few things happened. I graduated, I got a full-time job, and I also got very addicted to Overwatch. You see, as someone who isn't even that good at it, random gameplay of Overwatch isn't exactly the best kind of material for YouTube. But I was hooked, and every minute that I was not at my job, I was playing Overwatch. YouTube channel be damned. I still play Overwatch, albeit with far less frequency than I used to, but over time, I found myself making excuses to do literally anything but make videos for this channel. I built a new PC, which took three months due to part RMAs. Eventually I got hooked on PUBG, which also isn't very good content for YouTube, especially when you can never win. At one point, I found myself playing random Black Ops 3 Zombies maps and not recording them, trying to find literally any excuse to not make content for this channel. And that's when I realized I just didn't like making YouTube videos. But I still liked playing games, and even when I wasn't recording, I still found myself doing commentary to no one without even thinking about it. The problem wasn't the games, but the post-production side of things. Most videos were relatively simple, except Ace Attorney due to its screen switching mechanic, especially on the first investigation day of a case due to all the talking and examining. But no matter what game it was, I still had to edit, render, and upload the footage, and usually watch it back to come up with a title and make sure I didn't make any editing mistakes. This was the part I enjoyed the least. Plus the fact that most videos I uploaded got single digit views and weren't even worth monetizing didn't help with the motivation. I actually recorded and even uploaded footage of the game Spec Ops The Line, The Stanley Parable, and Antichamber in their entirety, but left them private because I either didn't want to go through this process, or another game that I felt was more relevant at the time took its spot. The antechamber footage in particular is now nearly three years old and 
none of these videos will likely ever see the light of day now, though I'm not opposed to going back and restreaming any of them from the beginning. I also started Ace Attorney Case 3-3 and got to the first trial day, as well as about an hour into Pyre from the same studio that made Bastion and Transistor, but I'll probably restart these as well. Which brings me to why I'm starting a Twitch channel. You see, even when I started this channel, YouTube as a place to watch people play video games was on the decline, and Twitch was booming. I was initially hesitant due to the low max bit rate available, and the fact that it was live meant viewers couldn't pause, and I couldn't edit out anything embarrassing. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. This is like my ninth take recording this video, and even before I started, I spent weeks trying to fix a problem with this webcam that made everything look really grainy. Turns out, I needed more light. But over the years, the Twitch max bitrate got a little more reasonable, and I started to realize the other factors weren't as big a deal as I thought. Plus, I like the idea of more direct viewer interaction, which also avoids most of my problems with video production. The stream is on the internet as soon as it happens, no editing, rendering, uploading, or checking required. So why am I changing the name? Part of it is that I no longer really identify with some of the things on this channel. Lots of my older videos were recorded with really bad hardware, I never bothered with some of the meta aspects of a good YouTube channel like a banner or a trailer, and I left things like a description and tags on autopilot, even though they quickly became outdated. I still have a list in there for games people can request I play that hasn't been updated since 2013. I also did some really cringy things. And I said, hey, yeah, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. I said, hey. What's going on? Not to mention a lot of these videos were recorded either before I realized I was transgender or when I felt I had to not come out to anyone. So a lot of it was done in a masculine voice. Admittedly, my feminine voice is still pretty terrible, but at least this channel will give me an opportunity to practice in front of an audience. And once I start HRT, my webcam will be a nice way to document my physical transition as well. Also, the name and profile picture of this channel sort of implied it was a My Little Pony channel. I actually came up with this name to use as a My Little Pony fanfic author name. You can see how that turned out. Also, the brony haters, god I hate that name, would see my name and profile pic and not even bother checking out my channel. Meanwhile, the MLP fans would show up, wonder where all the MLP was, and leave. By far, my most popular videos are the few that actually are My Little Pony related. But eight years after the show started, MLP isn't exactly as popular as it used to be. I still watch it, but I used to watch every episode the day it came out and check every post made on Equestria Daily. Nowadays, I might realize half a season had come out in the last few months and then watch it all over the course of a couple days. Also, yes, I'm aware that there are still My Little Pony posters in the background. But it's not my main fandom anymore. Even just among cartoons, I'm more in the Steven Universe, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and even Avatar and The Legend of Korra, even though those two shows ended years ago. Also, Rainbow Dash is actually worst pony. Anyway, because of the My Little Pony associations and all the low quality content I've uploaded over the years, I've basically irreversibly damaged the AK Dash brand. So I decided to change it. Also, I actually made a logo for this channel. So what kind of games will I play on this channel? As I stated before, the focus will mainly be on older titles that I've always wanted to play, but never gotten around to. Ironically, a lot of them I didn't get around to because I wanted to play them for the YouTube channel, but I never managed to find a slot in my upload schedule for them. That's not to say every title is ancient. You may have noticed the list includes Life is Strange, which came out in 2015, and franchises like Pokemon and Doom have entries that came out in the last year or two. It just means that I'll mostly not be playing brand new games the moment they hit the shelves, though that doesn't mean it'll never happen. For example, Smash Bros. Ultimate will probably get day one or two coverage. I also might occasionally just play some Overwatch or PUBG or whatever I happen to feel like playing that day, but the majority of games I play will be from that list. Speaking of which, you may have noticed that said list was a screenshot of a poll. There's a reason for this because a link to that poll will be in the description where you can vote on what the first game I can patiently play will be. There's also an other option, so you can run in any game you want if you think I snubbed one. No, I don't guarantee any of these will be picked, and if I like it, I'll probably just include it as an actual entry on future versions of the poll. For entire franchises on the list, like say, Mario, they refers to the main series of games only. Spin-offs like Mario Party and Mario Kart are separate. 
2D and 3D subseries like, say, Super Mario World versus Super Mario 64 are also separate from each other. And when it isn't obvious, I've included the first game in each franchise I intend to play in parentheses. Speaking of Nintendo games, while the AK Dash YouTube channel has always been primarily PC centric, and the Patient Alice and Twitch channel will continue to be so, that doesn't mean I'll never play a console exclusive title. I already own an Xbox 360, a Wii U, and a Switch. And on the Wii U, I even did occasional videos of Splatoon and Smash 4. However, the capture card I currently own is a first-gen Elgato HD, which doesn't really cut it nowadays, and I would probably have to upgrade to something like an HD60. This means I excluded some games like The Last of Us that would have otherwise made it, but I would have to buy a new console and a capture card before I could even start. Consoles that have emulators available, especially if they wouldn't have an HDMI port to capture from a real console anyway, are fair game. Also, for some games, I might play a remake or a ROM hack or use HD texture packs and graphics improving cheat codes if I think it enhances the experience. As for a schedule, currently I work 2.30 to 11 p.m. U.S. Central Time on weekdays, which also happens to be peak hours for stream viewers. I'm currently looking for a new job with a more normal schedule, or maybe I'll get lucky and enough of you will come out that I'll just be able to live off Twitch. Probably not. This is my schedule for now as whenever I get around to it. So for now, you can just follow me on Twitch to get notifications when I go live, or you can follow me on Twitter, where I'll post in advance when I plan to go live as soon as I know. Link to that will be in the description below. One last thing is I'll be creating two additional YouTube channels, one called Patient Allison and one called Patient Vods. Patient Allison will be for announcements or highlights or opinion videos, something like this one that needs actual editing, as much as I hate doing it. Patient Vods will just be for stream vods, but Depending on the game, it may be higher quality than the Twitch VOD, as YouTube accepts higher bit rates than Twitch. I'll have to make sure that both streaming and recording at the same time won't set my computer on fire, so it may not be available for every video, or if it doesn't work at all, I'll just drop it entirely. Or maybe it'll work fine, and I'll use it for every video, I don't know yet. Also, I do plan to stream at 1080p and 60fps, but until I become a Twitch partner and get access to re-encoding, I'll be willing to turn it down if anyone has bad internet and asks. I also plan to get a green screen someday, but my lease at my current apartment ends in February, and at the moment, I'm not planning to renew. If I get a green screen now, that's just one extra thing to move, and it may not be the right size for the new room, so it will just have to wait until after I move. Anyway, vote for the first game you want to see me play in the poll, and follow me on Twitch and Twitter to get notifications when I go live. Hope to see you there.